Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Shaving with Rich. Take a look at what's new with Rich Man Shaving. That's right, a brand new coin for all of my new shaving brushes. I'm leaving a link to my Etsy store in the description of this video, as well as any other applicable links for any other products that you may see in this and any of my future uh, shaving videos. I'm excited to bring a lot more content to you guys. And uh, thank you to all of my uh, subscribers and for all of your likes and comments. They're all welcome. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Now sit back and I hope you enjoy the video. As always, thanks for watching, and if you want to be notified when my videos come out, just click the bell next to the subscription. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Hey guys, welcome back. We're having fun today. I'm going to be shaving with the Rex Ambassador again. It should be really great. Again, I've got decent growth here. I'm going to put this on its highest setting, setting six. Um, we're going to be shaving with some great soap. <laughs> John Frum, guys. I was supposed to send this out, but I missed it. Um, so that gave me an extra uh, little bit to shave with it. But it's going out very shortly. And I thought I have to shave with this one last time before I, I mail it off for the pass around. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you guys are not a member of Rich Man Shaving Group on Facebook, do it. It's in the link below. You can get in on this pass round. Um, it's going to be uh, for the continental United States. All you got to do is contact Josh Morris in the group, uh, one of my moderators, and he's going to organize everything and make sure that uh, it gets passed around to everybody. So he'll fill you in on all the details. I just want to get into the shave and have a great time. So I've got a Gillette Nosset blade on its third use, setting six here. Um, I'm actually going to be uh, throwing up a couple brushes people have been asking me about um, tomorrow. Uh, well, soon. It could be tomorrow. i can just give you a little preview uh, of the, these brushes right here. Boom. This one right here. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, of course they've all got the coin. This one you'll probably like. Oh yeah. There we go. And last but not least, this one is awesome. All right, good enough. Let's get into the shave. I'm going to get my face. Um, actually, I'm just going to take uh, this pre-shave right here, this cube, dip it in some water, and just rub it into my face. Call that good for a pre-shave. I got a Captain's Choice Bowl. And I've already lathered up um, a good a good lather using John Frum, and uh, it's looking pretty good. Got it right here. So let's have fun.
perfect. I have a lot of brushes, so from time to time, I I gotta switch it up. I wanted a softer knot today, so um, I use my Razor Rock 400 um, brush. Why not? I usually from. Uh, I probably use this brush more than any of my brushes right now that I have, and that's my Innovator Knot, which I really love. That's got the S1 Innovator Knot in it. Let's get to the shave. Oh, yeah. Setting six. Boom. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Incredible what that does. Just... That's acceptable right there, socially acceptable, one pass. Here, I'm gonna put a little bit more. There we go. Let's have fun with this, why not? Just take it straight from the captain's choice. Ball. <laughs> really nice, slick, protective lather. You know, I'm curious. Leave this in the comments below. I'm curious how long you personally have been traditional wet shaving for. Are you brand new? Have you been doing it for a couple of years? I'd really be interested to read all the comments and see how long people have been in the hobby. So if you could, that'd be great if you'd leave that in the comments below. I'll be reading the comments. All right, I got tons of lather left. I'll show you what I got left. I got a fair amount, so. Plus I got what's in the brush. I'm just gonna pull from the brush. <laughs> Woo, rich. So creamy. Really nice lather. It's fun to play with. Never too old to have fun playing with a little lather. That's what I say. This stuff smells so good, guys. I know you're probably, you may be like me and you're not really into musks, never have been, and never thought that you would be. I'm telling you, even if you're hesitant about buying it sight unseen or unsmelled, <laughs> what I'm telling you and recommending that you do even if you're skeptical, especially if you're skeptical, at least get like a sample aftershave from Douglas when it's released so you can smell this stuff. It is incredible. Really like this scent. 
well blended, it's smooth. It's classic, it's modern, it's... I know that sounds like I just contradicted myself, but I didn't. When you uh, smell it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Really, really enjoying this razor as well. Setting six. It's taking it down. You hear that feedback? It's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. Other razors that have good feedback. Um, the Merkur Future has great feedback. I love that razor for a long time. Douglas Smythe's aluminum razors for his, his releases when he comes out with razors. If there's an aluminum version, he usually has a really great feedback. Sometimes you can get feedback with your fingers when you rub it against uh, the whiskers. That will tell you what direction the whiskers are, are going. And that helps you to know which direction to go with your pass. All right, guys. That's really good. That's going to be a super, super close shave. I still have tons of lather left, even when I played with it. You know what? I just felt something. You're not using any lather, Rich. What are you doing? Oh, there's some residual slickness here. There we go. Douglas says not to chase the BBS. I do all the time. Maybe I shouldn't, but I do. But my skin can take it. If I'm not too crazy. If I get a little crazy, then yeah, I'm going to have issues. All right. One second. All right, guys, it's time for aftershave time, post-shave time, post-shave time. All right, here we go. Get some of this. Actually, you know what? Mm. All right. Smells good, feels good, got that burn from the aftershave, mm, love it. You know what else I'm gonna do? 
I'm gonna throw in some star jelly, the unscented, this post shave, why not? Let's just have fun. And we're not even done yet. I like the menthol in the post shave star jelly. Love that. Mm, so good. But we're not done yet. Mysterium Serum. I'm going to try this too. Combined for with star gel. I've never done that before. So why not? Let's just do it. I got to order me some of that. It's going to get sent on with the, uh, with the pass around stuff. Mm. <laughs> People just don't know how good it can be. They really don't know. Most people have no idea. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right. I got to pass this on. I'm going to package it up right now and i'm gonna send it on to josh i hate goodbyes douglas let me know when this is available you know under the table or whatever you know before drop or the drop i'll, I'll take it whenever i can get it but the sooner the better please i'm actually there's a lot left for this pass around but I'm going to add just a tiny bit more just to enjoy it. Mm. All right. Sold. Sold. Just take my money already. My skin feels really good. I think I just uh, stumbled onto something. I'm going to keep trying that... Uh, Star jelly combined with the Mysterium Serum. Mm. If it works like this every time, I'm going to do that every time. Wow. You're welcome, guys, for the pointer. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, guys. This was an awesome shave brought to you by PAA, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. I've got links below if you want to take a look at their site and pick up anything. Either either of these products, uh, when they're available, post-shave products, these are incredible. Both of them are really, really fantastic. I can do videos just on those products, I'm sure I should. All right, take care, guys. Enjoy. We'll see you in the next episode of Shaving with Rich. As always, thanks for watching, and if you want to be notified when my videos come out, just click the bell next to the subscription. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.